Something strange is happening in our solar system right now. An object from deep space, one that's not supposed to be here called 3i Atlas, is acting in ways scientists can't explain. Object, meteor, uh, what is it? Well, we don't know. You see, that uh, is work in progress and we just need more data. And if what they're afraid of turns out to be true, this could be the most unsettling event in mankind's history. Over the last few years, something strange has been drifting through our solar system. Something that doesn't behave like anything we've seen before. Everyone thought it was just another icy comet passing through. But lately, something's off. Its brightness keeps changing, its shape doesn't make sense, and it's heading dangerously close to Mars and then Earth. It doesn't spin the way it should, it's releasing gases in the wrong direction, and its light curve suggests it's shifting. Like something is inside it, or something's making it change course. And that's when NASA reportedly became uneasy, and they have gone silent. No new updates, no press releases, no comments. Just radio silence. It was first discovered in 2025 by the Atlas Project, a survey meant to detect objects that could threaten Earth. And on the 1st of July, the Atlas Telescope in Chile picked up a faint moving object, which wasn't unusual at first, because astronomers spot small bodies all the time, like dust, ice, debris, you name it. But this one caught their attention. It was too fast. Most comets travel around 10 to 20 miles per second. This one was cruising past 40 miles per second. That's twice the speed of most solar system objects. Within days, data from other observatories confirmed it. This thing was on a hyperbolic trajectory, a path that doesn't loop back around the sun. It wasn't bound by our solar system's gravity, meaning it came from somewhere else. The scientists named it 3I Atlas, which basically means the third interstellar object ever discovered. The first was Oumuamua back in 2017, and then 2I Borisov in 2019. But here's the weird part. 3i Atlas didn't act like either of them. Oumuamua looked like a shard of metal, spinning and reflecting light. Borisov was more of a traditional comet, ice, dust, and gas. Atlas, though, it was both. It had the tail of a comet, but the motion of something heavier, and something about its chemical signature didn't line up with anything we've seen before. Early spectral readings showed an unusually high concentration of carbon dioxide, 10 times higher than any normal comet should have. And that alone raised eyebrows. Because if that's true, it means this object formed in an environment totally unlike our solar system. Somewhere colder, darker, maybe even near a dying star. So naturally, everyone wanted to study it. Telescopes all over the world locked on. NASA and ESA prepared missions to watch it pass Mars in October 2025. But that's when the real weirdness started. Around late August, astronomers noticed something strange. 3i Atlas had suddenly brightened. Normally, comets get brighter when they get closer to the sun. Their ice turns into gas, forming a visible tail. But this wasn't gradual. It brightened too quickly, then dimmed again then brightened once more. That kind of pattern doesn't happen naturally. It's not how comets behave. Some started saying maybe it's rotating oddly or breaking apart. But the rotation model didn't fit the light curve. What they saw instead looked more like flickering, as if the object was being illuminated by something inside it or reflecting light inconsistently, almost like it was adjusting. NASA kept analyzing the data, but then came the silence. No public comments, no live updates, just the occasional, we're monitoring the situation. The last major statement came in early September, when they confirmed the comet's close pass to Mars, about 20 million miles away, perfectly safe. After that, radio silence. But that's when amateur astronomers began noticing something different in their images. 3i Atlas wasn't one object anymore. It looked fractured. Several faint mini-tails appeared beside the main body. Small dust trails that hinted it might be breaking apart. Now, comets do break apart all the time, from heat, rotation, or tidal forces. But in this case, it didn't make sense. The comet wasn't close enough to the sun to melt, and gravitationally, nothing nearby was pulling on it that hard. So, if it really was breaking apart, something else was doing it. 
That's when online theories started to become part of the discussion. Some said it was being hit by solar radiation. Others said it could be hollow, that internal pressure from trapped gases was pushing it apart. Initially, nobody was saying it's alien technology. But if this thing isn't fully natural, its breakup near Mars could be part of a process, maybe even a triggered event. Which is why UFO hunters and enthusiasts claimed something much more unsettling. That 3i Atlas wasn't just an interstellar object. It might be interstellar technology. Here's where things get suspicious. When Oumuamua passed by Earth in 2017, NASA couldn't stop talking about it. Press briefings, simulations, constant updates. Even when they didn't have answers, they kept the public looped in. But with 3i Atlas, not so much. Even as it started showing signs of fragmentation, there were no live feeds, no new imagery released by NASA, and no media coverage until independent researchers pushed for answers. People noticed. Amateur astronomers noticed. Researchers on Reddit and Twitter began comparing old star charts and realized some of the fragments that were once labeled tracked had been marked as uncertain. That word might not sound scary, but to astronomers, it's a red flag. Uncertain means NASA no longer knows where it is. Now, maybe that's just caution. They don't want to jump to conclusions. Or maybe they found something they can't easily explain. Multiple observatories, including the Mars orbiters, were lined up to watch Atlas during its October flyby. But around late September, something weird happened. Several of the live tracking feeds from those orbiters were suddenly labeled data under review. That's NASA code for we saw something we weren't expecting. NASA called this data inconclusive, but independent observers in Chile, Hawaii, and India all reported something similar. Brief flashes of light moving slower than meteors, but too fast to be satellites, coming from the general direction of where 3i Atlas used to be. Even the ESA ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter reportedly picked up anomalous emissions from the comet's tail, small bursts of energy that didn't match sunlight reflection or gas release. It was as if the comet was releasing pulses. Theories popped up everywhere. Was it venting? Spinning out? Or was something inside it activating? NASA again said nothing. The last time an object behaved this strangely, it was Oumuamua, the one Harvard's Avi Loeb said might be an alien probe. Everyone laughed that off back then. But this time, even the skeptics are quiet. Why are we just now figuring out this thing is as big as it is? Why were we wrong in the estimates of its size? Thanks for having me. Well, we know that the object is losing mass because we see a cloud of gas around it that is a result of its warming up as it gets close to the sun. But it doesn't change its path. There is no push uh, that is visible on the trajectory of the object. And that means that it's very massive, at least a thousand times more massive than the previous one, which was a comet Borisov uh, di discovered in 2019. Uh, not only that it's so massive, uh, much more than the previous one, but there is also not enough rocky material in interstellar space to deliver such a giant rock. Uh, into the inner solar system over the past decade. Because the data doesn't lie, 3i Atlas is doing something. All mentions of fragment D3, the one near Mars, disappeared. And if the current predictions are correct, fragments of it might scatter across the solar system by early 2026. If those fragments shift course, even slightly, one of them could intersect Earth's orbital path. By October 3rd, 2025, 3i Atlas passed closest to Mars. NASA's orbiters were in position, waiting to catch every moment. But what they got left everyone speechless. For nearly six hours, the comet's brightness increased exponentially, nearly 40 times stronger than expected. Then, just as fast, it faded back. And then, it mysteriously just vanished. Some Mars orbiter data showed a faint haze, almost like a fog, lingering where the comet had passed. But the strangest part came from MAVEN, NASA's atmospheric probe. It detected sudden spikes in radiation over Mars's upper atmosphere right as the Atlas crossed nearby space. No one can explain it. Theories range from solar interaction to gas ejection. But one thing is certain. 3i Atlas didn't behave like a comet at all. And whatever happened near Mars, 
NASA hasn't released full telemetry data since. Some astronomers think the object might have completely disintegrated. Others suggest it fragmented into smaller, invisible pieces still traveling through the inner solar system. Publicly, NASA said the object disintegrated. But privately, insiders claim the agency was using high-altitude radar to monitor something around Mars that was still reflecting signals. If that's true, it means the fragment didn't disintegrate at all. It became something else. A fast-moving object the size of Manhattan is hurtling towards our solar system, and it will make its closest pass to Earth on December 17th. But here's the worrying part. Its projected exit path doesn't line up anymore. The fragments, if they exist, could now be scattered unpredictably across millions of miles. And if even one of them shifts toward the sun, the change in gravity could redirect it further, maybe even toward us. Realize that an object moving much faster than that would never be noticed by astronomers because we would just have one frame of it and we wouldn't really know how fast it's moving. Oh, that's so interesting. astronomers are using telescopes to look for objects moving roughly at the speed of planets around the sun. And, and this one is, is twice as fast as the speed of the Earth. And this is why NASA is terrified. And you'll be shocked to know NASA isn't terrified because of aliens or secret probes. They're terrified because they've lost control of the situation. They can't predict what 3i Atlas will do next. Everything they thought they knew about interstellar visitors has gone out the window. Oumuamua didn't behave like a rock. Borisov didn't behave like a comet. And Atlas, it's doing both and neither. It releases gas like a comet, moves like a spacecraft, and now it's possibly coming apart in a way no natural object should. For the first time, space agencies are realizing something. These interstellar objects might not just be random debris. They might be part of something larger. A pattern. A sequence. A message. Because if Atlas really is breaking apart, it's not doing so from sunlight or gravity. It's doing it on its own terms. And if fragments really are drifting through the inner solar system right now, we may soon find out what they're capable of. And the last known readings before the data blackout suggest one of those fragments is approaching the Earth-Mars corridor. If what's happening near Mars wasn't strange enough, Earth might already be feeling the effects of 3i Atlas. And most people don't even realize it. In early 2025, several independent observatories picked up something weird. A subtle increase in ionization in the upper atmosphere. Basically, charged particles, the same kind seen during solar storms, began appearing without any solar storm activity. But this wasn't random static. The readings followed a pattern. Spikes and dips that repeated every few days. And guess what? That pattern matched the calculated rotation period of the 3i Atlas debris field. This means every time the debris field swings close to Earth's path, our atmosphere reacts which would explain the strange behavior that is being observed throughout the world right now. We have made a few videos on the recent strange happenings on our channel. You should check them out to better understand the severity of what's happening. People are talking about a different type of cloud control. Are aliens using clouds for cover? NASA detected a mysterious object speeding toward Earth. But to simplify, people around the world began reporting strange sky events. Faint green lights appear for a few seconds, then vanish. Weather phenomena that have never been observed before. Or events that used to be rare, but now are happening almost every week. Now this could be a coincidence, because as of today, 3i Atlas is moving away from Mars. But scientists still don't know exactly what happened. Its light flickers inconsistently. Some say it is stable again. Others claim it's gone completely dark. Maybe it broke apart. Maybe it's still out there, cloaked by its own debris. NASA's latest models show no immediate threat, but they also admit their tracking confidence is low, which basically means they're not sure. The truth is, none of us know what 3i Atlas really is. A wandering comet, a fragment of a lost planet, or something that was never meant to be seen. And if it is something more, something beyond our understanding, then maybe NASA's silence isn't fear of the unknown, but fear of what comes next. Because if this object isn't natural, and it's breaking apart intentionally, 
then the next time something like this enters our solar system, it might not just pass by. Right now, part of the atlas is predicted to come eerily close to Earth. And if that happens, the consequences won't just be scientific, they'll be catastrophic.